but Jake didn't make coffee today. I think he had it at work and I'm not really wanting a full pot today. I just want a little something. So I'm gonna try this that I got from Daily Harvest. Daily Harvest has been gifting me their bowls, bites, smoothies, and flatbreads for probably over a year now. Um, and this isn't sponsored, but they do gift it to me to try. And if I like it, I can share it with you if I want to. And this is very new, I think. I didn't even know about it until I saw it on their Instagram. And I just got a box that is all breakfast items. So there's a good variety. I haven't tried any of these before. There's a chocolate and blueberry smoothie. This one is a cold brew and cacao smoothie. And I did already eat the apple and cinnamon oat bowl, but this one is the mulberry and dragon fruit oat bowl. So I'm really excited for that. But yeah, this is new. They have these coffee latte pods and you can have it hot or cold. And I thought this was one serving, but there's actually three in here. So we're gonna put this into the blender. So we're gonna have like a blended iced latte. Fancy. Jake's mom gave us this Breville blender. And I swear this thing is tiny but mighty. It is amazing. I'll get the little extra out of here with this adorable spatula from Curiosity Home Decor. It's a small business. I will link below because they have the coolest kitchen items, like very unique and cute. This is like a frothy dream and I don't have a milk frother so I never have that at home. So I'm excited to try it. Oh my gosh, wow. If you guys remember when the Dalgona whipped coffee trend was so big last summer, the texture reminds me of this. I used to make that. It's almost like a milkshake. The ingredients are always here. Oh my God, I love this. <laughs> It's really good. This is great. I can hear the UPS guy making a delivery and I'm pretty sure it is a restock of some of my stickers that I have been waiting on to get a wholesale order out the door. I was right. What do we have? Oh, first up is Butterfly Babe. These have been sold out for some time and I restocked them. And then a couple of my Arizona license plate designs. So we've got Phoenix. I really love this sticker because it has the Roadrunner in the background. I And I made the watercolor swatch part of it. So I like that it looks like there was just this stroke of paint with the Roadrunner like running through it or made out of the stroke. And then the other one is my Arizona native license plate, which of course is also an enamel pin design now. I needed these for the wholesale order, like I said, but then was it last week or the week before I told you that I had been putting some time into my Etsy shop again as like my second shop. Of course, pagepoppy.com, that's my main shop, but Etsy is a good search tool, especially for things very searchable like Arizona stickers. So once I listed these, I got some orders of these stickers. So I needed to restock them. This is great timing because I was actually about to start packing orders right now. We've got a bunch to do today. I also had two Poshmark orders to send out. So that's great. This first order today, we've got two tea towels, Technicolor Blossoms, and Wild Poppies. And then this customer ordered a pack of 10 greeting cards and they asked me to choose the designs for them. So let's pick 10 fun ones. I really love this Blooming Tulips one, so that'll be first. Desert Dreams, I think is calling our name. Hmm. This is another popular one, so we'll do Cactus Party. We'll add another floral to the mix. Farmer's Market Bouquet, Follow Your Bliss, 
one of my forever favorites. This is always a good one to have, I feel like, in your collection because you always need a thank you note, so we'll do Prickly Prism. Ooh, how about Quail on the Trail? right there in the front. This customer is in Phoenix, so I know they'll probably like some desert motifs. And since we're on that orange theme, let's include a solstice jackrabbit. Oh, I think I'll include this too because the tea towel was the wild poppies design and this has that same artwork. So they'll coordinate in case that's a gift. Sonoran Twilight is always popular. Eight, ten. Oh, that's ten. Great. And I just made these earrings and they are actually going to Stockholm, Sweden, which is so special. And I've got four more jewelry pieces ready for a wholesale order. I absolutely love this time of day when the sun comes and hits my order packing because the way that color catches in the light is so pretty to me. Happy Thursday. I would say good morning. But it's 12.30, so I better finish this so I'm not up all night. It is looking like today is going to be a client work day. I think I'll be working on three different projects, if not four. And it's interesting. A lot of these projects are commission paintings or murals, like something I will actually paint. But in this sketch phase, I have already done the first part of painting for the sketches. And now we are just like speaking color palettes and compositions. So I will probably be mostly working in Procreate. I love that I can recompose a piece, move things around, but sketch and still make it all flow together. So I'll probably be at my desk a lot. I was just revising some artwork, creating some new sketch concepts for a mural I'll be painting next month in March which is very exciting. It's been a while since I had the opportunity to paint a mural. Just with everything going on, I did have at least one that got paused that was a retail mural and it's still on pause for now. Hopefully that will resume in some form in the future. But this mural is actually residential and it's going to be in a home that is an Airbnb. My clients have it for themselves and an Airbnb had to change the battery there. I've worked with these clients a few times. I always feel so lucky that I get to work with such lovely people. I designed the stationery for their engagement party and then live painted at their wedding in Sedona, which was really special and that was the first time I got to meet them which was so fun and then this will of course be a custom mural. We're working with a 9 by 9 wall in the space. We pulled in inspiration from some of my other paintings and then um, they have a paint swatch from Bare Paint that will be in the kitchen I believe or other parts of the home and we're incorporating all of that. So we began, I'll show you, with three different concepts that I created. We were working with Camelback Mountain, colorful cacti, both saguaro and prickly pear, and then some abstracted elements. So that was the first one. The next one was a little more monochromatic, only with the green and blue tones. And this is a little simple, but I knew they liked saguaros a lot and I have painted some other murals where the saguaros were like coming up from the bottom like this so I thought that might be a good option and then this option which was my favorite and happened to be their favorite which is very cool is a nice mix because we've got camelback but more variety with the color palette and then some more detail so we are doing this like a little bit color blocked like this will all be color blocked not so much like watercolor style so they then reviewed all of those and essentially told me what elements they were liking from each one to combine into one piece which is pretty common like i didn't expect them to just pick one and i think they have a oh there was a fourth concept hold on there was also this concept which i incorporated because I knew they did like bright colors and they had referenced one of my pieces with rainbows. This artwork is pretty similar to this greeting card, my love you miss you greeting card where the rainbow extends onto the back. So you can see the artwork is pretty similar. I just kind of repositioned and scaled it to fit their space. And uh, in their feedback, they were liking these Saguaros, how the color block feel works along with the color block prickly pear here. So like I was saying, they did a really wonderful job of letting me know what elements they were liking from each one. And I'll show you what we have come up with. So here's what I have just sent over to them as the revision. As you can see, it's pretty similar to the third concept, but we have added in the Saguaros from the fourth concept, but I did change the color palette. So 
like this darker green here that is the paint swatch from bear that they are using in the home so i wanted to bring that in and kind of subdue this a little bit because the color palette here in the first one was leaning a little more neon and i had a feeling they would want to go a touch more subdued so i am really loving this i think there's more visual interest than previously and I'm looking forward to seeing what they say. And the next project I have to show you is actually one that you saw me starting in last week's studio vlog. So I had created those three sketch concepts for this Camelback Mountain painting. The painting is going to be on canvas, but we're still in the sketch phase and we have revised it and I have two options. They vary in the fullness in the foreground. So if you remember, there were three options and this one was very full with cacti and my clients liked the ones that were more open so you could see more of the mountain so that's what i kept in mind as i revised these and we did change up the saguaros a bit they wanted some more character in the arms wonderful piece of feedback in my opinion so here's the first one more open i did also move the ocotillo over and they chose this more green Octio versus this more yellow one. So more of the mountain was in view. And then this option you'll see is a bit more filled in. More of these, I call them organ pipe cacti, but this that's not the right name of these. It's a Pachanoi cacti, there we go. Yeah, just more completely full here versus the openness. Um, I'm curious to see which one they will like, so we will see what they think. I just did a little unboxing of these goodies for my Instagram stories because Jake and I are about to walk to get some breakfast and pick up some produce because I have been juicing again and really enjoying it. I think these pieces speak for themselves, but everything arrived in this gorgeous box from Naked Rebellion, and this highlighted a collaboration between Naked Rebellion and Teal Market, which are both Arizona women-owned brands. The owner of Teal Market is my friend and I wear her jewelry all the time, including today. And I have not met the owner of Naked Rebellion, but I've seen her at events like Phoenix Flea. I have one of her scrunchies that I got gifted at an event and it is similar to this one, but a different nude shade, and I love it. So Naked Rebellion has redefined a nude within the fashion industry because nude is not just one shade. So you can see some of the accessories here, but they also do create like loungewear, lingerie. So you can see the scrunchie matches this gorgeous mask and chain collaboration between the two brands. So the Naked Rebellion mask is silk lined and the mask chain is so chic, similar to the necklace I'm wearing and even has this little lock detail. It's to die for, you know me, I like to have a lot of mask options. I love the colorful patterned ones, but I opened this box yesterday so I could wear it with an outfit and I wore it like all black and this was a cool neutral pop of brown. And you can see my necklace has this gorgeous clasp detail and I intentionally wear it forward because I think it looks so cool and that same style is what hooks onto the mask as clips and then of course it hangs and when it hangs it looks like you're wearing another necklace hey <laughs> editing page here to wrap up the vlog i end up living my life and forgetting to narrate a clip but here we are i wanted to thank you for watching not only today's vlog but my videos recently let's see i've been sharing videos on youtube since 2012 almost 10 years Whoa. And in that time, I have certainly ebbed and flowed with how active I am in sharing. But for 2021, I have been taking it really seriously as a goal to post weekly on my channel. And I have been doing that for the past month now. It feels great to be consistent again. And I want to let you know when you can expect my videos. I will be uploading weekly on Tuesdays. I was playing with Monday for a little bit, but Monday is too busy of a work day. There's so much to catch up on. So Tuesdays it is. I look forward to seeing you here weekly. And I think you could figure this out from last week, but I am going to be sharing a mix of videos. So I will have lots of art studio vlogs like this one. But last week I shared the unboxing and setup of my new watercolor palette. So I will be doing, you know, art supply reviews and more like sit down videos. I've been promising it for a long time, but my pantry organization video is coming. I've decided I want to make a custom painting for the space because there's a beautiful large wall in there. So that's my last step and then I'll share that with you. So we'll have a good mix around here. That's my check-in. I hope you are having a good week. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing so you get all these fun art videos. I hope watching this enhanced your joy. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.